my heart is beating out of my chest right now. Like I can't, I think I'm going to have an asthma attack. (sighs) Okay, I'm about to interview a legend. He's a legend. Jay Leno, I think you've heard of him, The Tonight Show. Well, he's in town this Sunday at Talking Stick Resort, and I think tickets are still available. (gasps) The phone's ringing. Okay. Good morning. Hey, is this Monty? It's Jay. Holy s***. Oh my gosh, hi. How you doing? I'm awesome, how are you? Good, good. I heard that you were in Scottsdale last month for uh, the car show, Barrett Jackson. I was, as a, we uh, auctioned off uh, uh, President Bush's uh, pickup truck for uh, the Fisher House. It's a place that helps uh, wounded veterans. That's awesome. Yeah, that was kind of fun. That, that, that's like a crazy event, it's hilarious. Well, I found out that the number one original gangster, Barris Batmobile, the one that was on the series Batman in the 60s right. and 70s, was being auctioned off. And the first thing I thought was, well, Jay Leno's got it. No, 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 I wouldn't buy it. It's not my, <laughs> it's what? Not my kind of car. Why it? wouldn't you want to buy the Batmobile? Well, it's not really. the. It's just it's a TV prop, you know. It's just... <gasps> no, dude. Have you seen Batman? <laughs> it's not... It's not really a Batmobile. I mean, the button that says laser ray gun it doesn't have a laser ray gun. <laughs> He's at Talking Stick Resort this Sunday, and I know it's going to be a hilarious show. Mr. Jay Leno is on the line with me this morning. He does not believe that the Batmobile is an awesome car, even though it was auctioned off for $4.6 million at Barrett Jackson. You know, I mean, I guess if, you, if you're buying it as a piece of Hollywood history, but in terms of being a car, it's not like a Duesenberg or an old Alfa Romeo or something like that. Um, I don't know what you're saying to me. The difference between having a, a painting by Michelangelo and the painting that was hanging on the coffee shop and the TV show Friends, which one is worth more? You know, it depends on, on your perspective. Well, you're not going to ruin Batman for me. No, I won't ruin Batman for <laughs> And you're too young to remember Batman anyway. What are you talking about? I'm 37. I'm old enough. Thank you. But you don't remember the TV show. Yeah, I used to watch a TV show. It's how I learned how to speak English. Right. So you just say kaboom and bow? No. I'm Puerto Rican, and we watched Donahue and Scooby-Doo and Batman. Oh, I've been to Puerto Rico many times. That's a great place. Thank you. Yeah, that's fine. I love the rain. I remember going there, and... It was raining on this side of the street, and it was bright sun on the other side of the street. And it was like, it was literally a wall right where, that, where the rain forest is. The rain was coming down in, like out of a hose, and if you just stepped 18 inches to the, to the other side, it was sunny. It was always one of the most amazing things to me. Yeah, it explains a lot about Puerto Rican women. Huh? Yeah, yeah, yeah. This is, you want to keep them on the wet side. <laughs> Ew! <laughs> but in a good way. <laughs> Oh, my God. That's awful. Okay. Jay Leno is in town this Sunday at Talking Stick Resort. I don't know if there's tickets still available. I think maybe like three. <laughs> so if you want some, go get them right now. And um, I adore you. I You've been married for like 33 years. Congratulations. Why, thanks. Oh, you sound That's excited. Almost longer than you've been alive almost. <laughs> oh, my God. How did you know she was the one? Um, How did I know? You know, I always have, I always tell whenever people ask me advice, I always say, marry your conscience. You know, marry the person that you wish you could be, and you usually turn out okay. Too many people in Hollywood marry people like themselves. So if you're greedy, you marry someone that's greedy. If you're selfish, you marry someone that's selfish. You know, but if if you see yourself as one way, marry someone who has the qualities you aspire to, and and it works out pretty good. Jay Leno with the secret to happily ever go. after, just in time for Valentine's Day. I'm talking to Jay Leno. I know. Interview of a lifetime. I'm pretty uh, freaked out right now. Still, my hands are still shaking. That's fine. I can't believe I just said that out loud. It's okay. So, um, he's in town this Sunday at Talking Stick Resort. And if you want tickets, you better hurry up because it's going to sell out real, real fast. Mr. Jay Leno, I was on a show called Master Chef with Gordon Ramsay. Oh, sure. And I got all the way to the top five. And in the process, I picked up a few fans, not obviously as many as you have. You've got like a zillion fans. Um, But I told my Twitter followers that I was interviewing you today, and I asked them what they wanted to know about you. Mm -hmm. And nine out of the ten questions were about Conan. 
I mean, oh, well, I, know. I don't know. It's been years since that fiasco, and Conan has his own show. I'm sure everything's cool now. Why do you think people still look at you as the bad guy? I have no idea. I, I mean, I had the show. They came to me one day and said, we're taking the show away from you. Uh, oh, okay. And uh, they did. And then they came back to me and said, we want to give you the show back. I said, fine. And simple as that. Simple as that. There wasn't uh, anybody, you know, that's that's pretty much the way it is. You know what it is? When people attack me, I don't fight back. And you can say whatever you want and whatever. And that's probably why it went on for a long time. I'm a comedian. My job is to go out and entertain people and hopefully make people laugh. And that's what it is. And when you become famous for something other than what it is you do, then eventually you lose what it is you do. And so consequently, I just never answered back at allegations that were correct or incorrect or whatever. If, you know, people want to say things about you, that's, that's fine. Um, that's pretty much the way it is. And, and, and never explain, never complain. You know, I never complained and whined about it. I just uh, this is what I do. You know, I go out and I do my show and that's it. People want to base their opinion on not having the facts. Well, that's that's fine. There's nothing you can do about it. Well, I would get a voodoo doll, but we'll talk about that later. I've been taking your questions for Jay Leno on the Twitter, at My1039Phoenix. Mr. Leno, Fernando wants to know if you ever eat in any of your fancy cars. Uh, yeah, usually. I mean, like people always spot me at the drive through at uh, In-N-Out Burger, McDonald's. Yeah, I, I'm not. I probably eat. I probably eat most of my meals in my car because I'm always on the go. I don't, you know, I'm here all day, and then I grab something on the way home, and I eat it in the car on the way. Home. So yeah, that's 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 true. Hey, noted. You're human. I like it. <laughs> Jeffrey wants to know if you would ever participate in a celebrity Master Chef because I was on Master Chef, so then you could be on Master Chef. We could have that in common. No, I'm not real. I I cook a few things, but I'm not really a very good cook. No, I'm not a very good cook. What do you cook? Uh, oh, my Uncle Louie's chicken wings are fantastic with marinara sauce. Everybody does buffalo wings wrong. They make these awful sauces, and it's terrible. And and nobody ever does them right. My Uncle Louie used to do them fantastic with a with a homemade marinara sauce. And, oh, it's, oh, it's great. If you go on the Internet, you see Uncle Louie's chicken wing recipe under my name. You should make it sometime. I think you'd like it. I would love to do that. In fact, we've got the recipe on the Facebook page right now, my 1039 Phoenix. You know why? Because my producer, Mo, she's fast. Mr. Jay Leno, I congratulate you on your success. I know it means nothing. No, no, it does mean it. Well, thank you very much. I, I appreciate it. I that. think it's amazing that you've been in the industry for as long as you have, and you're just a regular, awesome dude. I adore you. I really do. Well, thank you very much. We'll see you at the talking stick. Yes, sir. Bye. Bye Bye-bye. My 1039.